I will demonstrate the finger positions for the double hand gestures which are called Samyutta Hastas or Samyutta Mudras where we use both hands coming together. So, the first up, we start with Pataka on both and join them to make it Anjali. So this is Anjali where Pataka is joined like Namaste. Then from Anjali bring out make a pocket like just bend to make a pocket like and hold all the fingers together still to make Kapota. So from Anjali which was stiff Join together palm on palm. You make a pocket in the center and where the fingers are close to make it kapota. Now, separate the fingers and intertwine them like this. Karkata. Separated fingers, the hands coming together to intertwine to make it karkata. Back to Pataka, at the wrist of both hands, they form a swastika cross. Pataka, bring it across at the wrist where the fingers are all straight, hand is held straight and it forms this pattern here which is called Swastika. So, Anjalischa, Kapotascha, Karkata, Swastika. Now, going on the sides, not just straight, but you need to give it a bit of a nice flow, but here the muscles are not held tight. Just have a natural flow to it which is dhola hasta dhola either side bring it back here in the bent position and bring it together to make pushpa putta pushpa putta now we have both hands showing Mrigashisha coming up on our sh both shoulders to form Utsanga. Now, moving on to the next mudra is Shivalinga Kaha. For Shivalinga, you would need Shikara on your right, Ardha Chandra on your left. So the Ardha Chandra comes down like a plate. And then you keep your right shikara on at the center on top of your Ardha Chandra. So this is this, this is this. Your left goes down. Put this firmly at the center and that becomes a Shiva Lingaka. So then we repeat Dola Hasta again. Dola Hasta. Pushpa Putta. Utsanga, the second Utsanga is, first one was this and the second time all you're doing is across your chest, you're crossing the Mrigashisha to make this Utsanga and Shivalinga Kaha, repeat again, Shivalinga Kaha. Now, Katakamuka was this, as we learned in the single hand. Now bring two Katakamukas with both and cross them here. At the wrist and keeping remembering to keep your muscles engaged all the time that's the main baseline is muscle engagement you can't have it like this hold it taut here crossed at the wrist not this but the fingers are the three bunched up are looking at either side but these fingers looking roofwards. That is Kataka Vardhanas Chaiva. Kataka Vardhanas Chaiva. From there, 
you change both to kattari we did kattari like this now both are in kattari kattari swastika you can either do kattari swastika or kattari swastika kataka vardhana shaiva kattari swastika now how we had the brahmara shaiva where index finger was rolled in coil and we held brahmara like this right if you show brahmara with both hands it would look like this in this case to show shakatam you open up this joint index and thumb a bit out so there is a gap hold both across your lips at both ends and eyes go to show demon demons crooked teeth so it's not the brahmara shaiva but there is a bit gap and you are holding it on either side with give special attention to the straight line shakatam coming to shanka shanka can either be done in a easy way shanka goes on your left so i need to show it on my right so you can learn it shanka the easiest way is holding our pataka on your left and your shikara bringing here shanka is a conch see that coiled conch shape so you're holding your knuckle side to your palm bringing your thumb to the center finger look here that becomes a conch which goes on your left side basically to show vishnu holding conch on his left other other harder one is to hold a firm grip on it you can have ardha chandra ardha chandra here your right hand would wrap around the thumb here and then you bring look from all sides so wrap and then bring your thumb to the center of the other hand and everything is held high and strong so that becomes a shanka on the left and then you bring both ardha chandras across to form chakra on your right one see this is the stop sign or some people do it with pataka either way it is the chakra so chakra one holding straight palm front and the other one wrapping it in this way palm on palm becomes chakra so shanka and chakra samputa next is samputa depicting a box or a enclosure so you have this was hamsa pakshaka so you have one hamsa pakshaka which is your right hand the other hamsa pakshaka from under so your left is holding like this fingers looking straight palm up and the other one is covering and to make an enclosure samputa so shanka chakrecha bring it under make it samputa now we need tamra chuda on both hands but your left tamra chuda is inverted so your left is looking the hook is looking down and your right is hooking on to it see tamra chuda tamra chuda hook on to this so this is in this shape pasha to show like enemy but you are showing with pasha angry emotion tamra chuda pasha so your right should be down and then keep it there and tuck in everything except for your little finger the same position now hook with your little fingers in the hook position 
hook it onto this. That becomes key lookout to show friend, a friend, a connection. So Pasha was with these two, and Kilaka comes with these two. Exact same hand positions. So you do this, Pasha, Kilaka, Matsya. Now two Ardha Chandras come together to form Matsya of fish. So you bring your right on top of your left. Both palm down, one on top of each other, whereas the thumb is left loose, and this is matsya. Kurma. Kurma is we start with this. These two are together, the center two fingers, and then you bring this. This is the harder way I'm teaching you, but the easiest kurma would be for children to learn is bringing these three to um, bent like mrigashisha, okay? And then your left is under, your right is over, palm touching palm, and you bring it. This is a bit of a practice to get this right. Wrap these three. Wrap these three, whereas you are left with four limbs of a turtle. Four limbs. This is the easier way to do it. Okay. So two holding Mrigashisha and your left is down. Bring your right on top and then the loose three fingers, the held three fingers are wrapped and wrapped on top and bottom from all angles. So the thumb and little finger of both hands are out showing the limb and we are showing the hunchback of the turtle. That is one kind of kurma or the other kurma is hardagan which is where the index is also out and then this and this everything is aligned. But when you are learning you can do the easier one. So kurma. Now varaha is where the same Rigashisha come on top of each other. In your case, you would do left first and then bring another Rigashisha and put it on top to make it Varaha, which is a wild boar. Varaha. So, that was Matsya, where you brought your left down, uh, left down right up. Matsya. Kurma. Varaha, from Kurma go to Varaha, Garudo. Now two Ardha Chandras come together, palm facing your face, palm facing you. Bring it across, cross them, attach them at the thumb. This becomes the head of open winged, see the bird, but don't do this. It is all the wings Folding like this. Garuda. Now, Nagabandha is, you know how we learned the Sarpashisha and the Sarpashisha coming together to make this twin snakes joining at the wrist. Nagabandha. So, Matsya Kurma Varaha Garuda Nagabandaka. Coming to Katva, showing bed and the four leg or four feet of a bed. So I would say easiest is to start with Simha Mukha, invert them where the two, this is the easiest way to go to get it neat, where these two and these two are straight, right? The fingers and then invert them, join and invert them. Now all you need to do is take your thumb back and look how neat we have the four feet standing firmly on the floor. The bed is all firm. So, Katwa. 
get it so all we need is this katwa berunda kakascha twin birds this time so start with your kapitta which was this and this kapitta cross at the wrist berunda kakascha or this one. and then from there you go alapadma which is the curled up alapadma you have alapadma avahitastataivacha berundakakascha avahitastataivacha that is alapadmas crossed at the wrist again so to go through the whole 24 we start with anjalischa so you can do with me so we have anjalischa cha, kapotascha karkata swastikastatha dolahasta pushpaputa utsanga shivalingakaha dolahasta pushpaputa utsanga शिवलिंगकः शिवलिंगकटकावर्धनश्चव कत्तरीस्वस्तिक्रे चुट पाश कीलक मत्स्य कूर्म वराह गरुड नागबंधक कट्वा बेरुंडकाकश्च अवहितस्ततैव च सो दोज़ आ द सिंगल हैंड and double hand gestures or mudras explained with finger positions in a step by step manner and hope this will help all the learners or beginners to exactly learn the finger positions to get the mudras need which in turn will make your dance very neat thank you